Welcome to Worldview Wednesday. My name's Alex. And I'm Lauren. And Lauren, where are we today? We are in Bernie, if you want specifics. On Monday. On Monday, it's uh, 9.02. Um, yeah, so we just had um, speaker Mike Sherrard and um, apologist come and ask and challenge if we're open-minded or not. Yeah, so today we're just interviewing people, asking them what they thought of the event and whether they're open-minded and what that means after walking out of the event. So unfortunately, this is our last Worldview Wednesday for the semester. Yeah. Um, we'll resume mid-March, right? To be determined. Yeah. Yeah. Our videographer is pregnant, so she is having a child very soon. Yes. So, we'll see you then. <laughs> what do you think about the event? I thought it was great. I thought it was um, really eye-opening to see just kind of on campus and um, how the perspective of like students and how the campus perceives um, open-mindedness and also just how to... Um, talk to people who are not open-minded. Yeah. Um, what did you guys think of tonight? Um, I greatly enjoyed the discussion. It was, um, I thought it didn't go on too long. It was um, just the right amount of time where Mr. Sherrard was able to get apart, get across his ideas. I loved the question and answers at the end. It gave everyone a time to discuss their opinions and their thoughts, as well as um, challenge the speaker himself, and he was able to give his feedback. Um, I think they brought out a lot of good points about being open-minded and how you really don't see that in today's colleges and universities and how it's pretty much shut down at this point and he gave out a lot of good points and how we should like um, pretty much push for it. Um, now that you've attended this event, what do you think it means to be open-minded? Well, as Mr. Sherrard said, it doesn't necessarily mean in believing everything you hear or being extremely skeptical, but honestly, taking consideration what other people say to you and at least considering it, weighing against facts that you know and even go doing outside research on that matter. What were your thoughts? Um, I thought it was pretty insightful. I thought he had some good points on you know, the church and things. I think we are really slow to question our faith or ask questions and I think that that's really important, um, especially when we're raised in the church to start asking those questions early so that we actually have a defense for later, which is kind of what Rashi is all about. So what do you think about tonight? I thought it was great. I think it's really um, important and challenging to try to figure out how we can evangelize and reach people who are in a closed-minded culture, um, even though they think they're in an open-minded yeah. culture themselves. Yeah. So before walking in, would you have considered yourself an open-minded person? Yeah, generally I would say so. I have no doubt that there are areas in which I'm not, um, but I don't know where they are or else I wouldn't be. <laughs> so I, I try to be open-minded. Would you consider yourself open-minded after tonight? After tonight? Maybe a little more than I was before. <laughs> okay. Good. You have any questions? But I wasn't before. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, so Honest. it's like if, if like yesterday was like a two, we're at like a four now. Okay. So what do you think about the event? The event was good. Um, I like how he was very zealous about uh, everything he spoke about. Um, his answers were concise. Um, it was challenging for me to be open-minded means to listen a lot because I can't be open-minded if I don't listen. And for me, actually, personally, for me to actually listen means I need to stop my busy schedule to listen to you, even if I don't care what you're saying because it doesn't, you know, I might not agree with you or I might even not consider that you might not agree with me. I just don't care. So I'm convicted to listen. what you thought about the event. Okay, wonderful. So, um, I was a big fan of the event. I think one of the things that uh, is so important on our campus is recognizing that uh, open-minded has a particular uh, definition and a particular uh, a willingness to wrestle through uh, arguments and doubts and just kind of take in arguments and really, really wrestle with them. Um, that kind of attitude is often missing on our campus. However, I think Mike Sherrard made a lot of good points, particularly um, having a humility to understand that you may not know everything. And so maybe there is something out there you need to consider. Maybe there is a, a truth that you haven't really wrestled with. Maybe there's a truth that you need to accept. 
Um, and so I really appreciate that Mike Schraer brought that perspective. I hope that more people that come to this event or see the recording or whatever are able to truly uh, just really consider what he said and maybe they can walk away a little more open-minded.